so advent calendar box number four and the origami star gift tags this has to be one of my favorite christmas crafts being able to fold a star from a square of paper you can add them to tags just like this you could make a garland and make bigger ones to hang around your home but an origami star could go on the front of a christmas card it, they are so much fun to make so you might need to watch this video a few times just till you get the hang of it and pause it where you need to so that you can see one step at a time you're going to use two different sizes of paper so one size that is a 10 centimeter square and then one as it comes that is a 15 centimeter square and then you're going to fold them into these beautiful stars the only thing you need is a pair of scissors and I'm going to demonstrate to you using the bigger piece so that you can see what I'm doing um, you got to choose which side you want the paper to be so that you know which pattern you like I'm going to fold it this way just so that you can hopefully see a little bit better where my folds are so with the paper lying towards you take the bottom edges and take it up so you're folding it in half like so once you've folded the paper in half you're going to take the left corner and fold that up into a triangle into the middle and flatten then reopen it and take the top left corner and bring that down to the bottom so what you've made here is a cross on the paper that's what's important to be able to see and you'll see it close up on your own that there is a cross just there then you're going to grab this corner from the right and you're going to bring the corner over till it's right in the center of the cross then smooth the paper back and flatten it and you've made a fold like that it feels a bit of an odd fold because none of the paper edges line up but what's important is that the corner goes into the middle of the cross once you've done that you're going to fold this piece of paper from the corner back on itself so that you're kind of making an ice cream cone once you've done that you bring the left side and you're going to take that up so that it meets that ice cream cone and flatten then lifting it up from your work surface fold it back on itself so that this side comes to this side and we make a little cone shaped like that and it's got all these funny lines at the top of it when we turn it over nothing there so it's this line here that you're looking for and you're going to cut that along like that with some nice sharp scissors and then you can discard all of those pieces that you chopped off now open up and you'll see that you've made a pentagon like so now next step is to make sure that all of the folds to the corners of the pentagon are folded the same way so it will just help with the folding process if you just spend a little bit of time checking that those folds are all folded the right way and neatly there we go so they're all folded like that now you can see that they're all folded the same way so once you've done that I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to take the corners of the bottom of the pentagon so you can see the bottom edge of the pentagon and I'm going to take them up until they meet the fold line that I've just ensured was there to the point so I'm not lining this edge up with the middle I've gone beyond the middle and I'm making sure that the corners are lined up with those creases that are coming down from the corners of the pentagon and I'm going to give a nice strong fold I'm going to open it up turn the pentagon round and do the same on every side 
open it up, turn it round, open it up, turn it round, open it up, and last one, making sure those corners are going to the right place and I'm back to where I started. Okay, so once we've got all those folds in place, you'll see if I turn it over that we've made a little mini pentagon in the middle. So you know you're on the right track if you've got that little mini pentagon appearing. So now I'm going to fold up the bottom and I'm going to bring this point out towards me and fold up the side. Now I then need to flatten this funny little fold here so that that comes over to there. I open it up, turn it round and do the same again. So fold up the bottom, bring that point towards you and then flatten the edge just there and open it up. Turn it round and do that again. Bring that point towards you. Use the line that's on the side of the pentagon there and flatten it down. Turn it around and do the same again. And I should get back to the side where I have already done it. Okay, so I'm back to where I began. So that's all the creases done. The only thing left to do now is to bring it into the star shape before we do the final point fold. So you just bring up the points like so and then let it just twist around into a star shape and flatten it down. And I think it even looks pretty like that, but we're not quite done. We're going to turn it over and you've got that lovely pentagon on the back and then you're going to fold the points in half to create these lovely sharper points on the star. So this edge here of the pentagon is going to get folded to the middle and I'm going to halve the point at this end. So take your time so that you get it right and then you've got a lovely point on the end of the star. So then you turn it and do the same on the next point. So you're folding it in half, turn it and do the same again. Turn and do the same again. And turn, and the last one, this is the tricky one because it's inside that point there and you're just going to bring that to the middle like so, squish it in, but at the same time making sure that the point is in half. And then that is your origami star that you can then stick onto your gift tag. Now for the gluing of that, you've got some little sticky dots um, so just be mindful how you use them because they can be a little bit temperamental. So you just take the backing off and then put the glue dot onto the star and then peel the perspexy bit, the, light, the um, clear cellophane. Then peel the clear cellophane off so that the glue stays on the star. And then get your gift tag, pop it on like so, and then replace the sort of cheap string with your candy coloured string and fold it in half, bring the loop through and the tails through and then you've got your lovely origami gift tags and then repeat because you've got 10 of them to make so have fun making your origami stars.